look, if it get dark now, you just ride it, okay? Yeah. Yeah. How do I do that? <laughs> this is Causeway, streaming tomorrow on Apple TV, starring Jennifer Lawrence and Brian Tyree Henry. It is about a woman who is serving in the military, and she suffers from a traumatic brain injury. She goes to a group home to recover, and then back home to New Orleans. For more of this story, we have a movie critic, Kathy Kaiser. Kathy, good afternoon. Good to see you again. I know. This looks pretty good. It's really good. It's very dramatic, right? I love I mean, a good brain drama. injury, right? Who doesn't love Jennifer Lawrence? And Brian Tyree Henry is fabulous as the friend who's going to try to help her make it through mm -hmm. all well, the things she's going through. And it seems like from the trailer, it, it is a little somber. A little is, somber, yes. dramatic, but they are really some comedic moments oh, yes. in the yeah, movie, for yeah. sure. And Brian Tyree usually brings most of those <laughs> out throughout the movie. Well, he's an incredible actor. Oh I my mean, God, he this is. means it's just not a downner. It's not the a entire total downer. Yeah. Um, the only thing I have to say is there are parts that get a little slow. Mm -hmm. That's Which, what, yeah. right? That's okay. Right? Yeah. And what did you think of the performances of Jennifer Lawrence and Brian Tyree? I mean, they're both incredible. Who doesn't love Jennifer Lawrence and everything she does? Literally and this everything. is really a somber <laughs> role for her, but she's fabulous. And the struggle she has to face trying to come back home, trying to adjust her brain injury, what's all involved with all of that. But and I can't tell, but is it a love Story? You know, they keep you guessing till uh, the very oh, end there. Okay. Well, it seems like there are some, some friendly moments, but some very deep and they intimate are. moments. There and, are. Yeah. And I, we don't want to give too much away. Right. right? I, I'm right? excited to go watch it and really see how it <laughs> ends. But how many popcorns would you give this one? I gave Causeway three out of five popcorns. Okay. Solid. We will take it. So this one's streaming on Apple TV and, it's and also in coming theaters. Out. Nice. Okay. So this is our first movie for the day. I'm definitely adding that to my list. I plan on doing nothing this weekend. So I'll be <laughs> binging a little so bit. Watching movies. I yes, love it. Watching movies, enjoying the, the fall air, just come through my home. Okay. Next one. This one also looks amazing. Yes. <laughs> this is Armageddon Time. It actually is part of the St. Louis International Film Festival. Tell us a little bit about this one. Oh, this one's Somebody very good. It's set in 1980. A young man named Paul is in a friendship with a black young man in public school and his Jewish family decides they're going to send him to private school because they're kind of getting a lot of trouble. I'm, well, it looks like an incredible friendship <laughs> really throughout they the do movie. They have an incredible friendship throughout the entire movie. And you see a sage. He's kind yes. of instructing him to really stand up for what he believes in. Exactly. Anthony Hopkins is his grandfather. Who, oh, who's I better to be your grandfather that. than Anthony, Anthony Hopkins, Hopkins, right? <laughs> and he's really the only one in his family that understands mm -hmm. who he really is. He wants to be an artist when he grows up. Mm -hmm. And his Jewish family's like, no, you need to make a living. And I, as a parent, find myself, you know, the same way. No, you need to find a way to make a living, yeah. right? Chase your dreams. Exactly. Make a lot of money. There's Chase your dreams. <laughs> Which, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Anne Hathaway, Jeremy Strong, like I said, Anthony Hopkins. Mm -hmm. the, the cast is incredible. I mean, right? And I got to see it last night for the VIP screening nice. for the St. Louis International Film Festival. It was wonderful. And, yeah. Like Just, you said, it, it was set in 1980. Now I'm going to give my age away because that was when I was in high school. But I could relate to everything mm -hmm. they were doing, you know, from Ronald Reagan about to be elected president. Yeah, and we see snippets of that. Right. Well, you said it was wonderful. How many popcorns would you give it? We're going to give it four out of Ooh, five. Ooh, that is pretty good. So I have two good movies to watch exactly. this weekend in St. Exactly. Louis. So do you. You can catch... Both of these movies yes, in theaters? Yes, in theaters. Nice. Yes. And if you're interested in learning more about what to watch and what to keep up with, you can follow Kathy Kaiser online. It's Matinee Chat with Kathy Kaiser. You can show her some love on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. She's keeping you in the know of all of the great things to see around town. So, Kathy, thanks so much for being here. Oh, thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. St. Louis, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break.